Lies. Welcome to session six of the Keepers of the Golden Gate. It is the twenty eighth of May two thousand and nineteen. I am Ryan, the GM. I assume, and here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I'm playing a human sorcerer called Eric Rainwood. Hello, I'm Adrienne, and I play a half elf druid called Aria. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitty Lickle, a Tabaxi rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. And we are down a crumbar. Alas. But for everyone at home, and also Scott, when he eventually listens to this, uh, Crumbar spent his story point uh, connection with the Great Gold Worm and the Golden Order, uh, and he spent that on buying access for everybody to the Golden Order Armoury of Glitterhagen, so that everyone has decided to kit themselves out in some new gear, so if people who somehow, weirdly, are A, listening, and B, paying attention to numbers, that's why things like AC and stuff and everybody's armories, etc. have increased significantly, so... That's my admin two cents. Uh, how has everyone's week been? You know, those couple of days since we last played. Uh, yes. Being told I can't play cricket because uh, getting a big block of metal drops are used from. Uh, that's crap, man. Mm, I had to miss tonight's game, but you know, I'm here. That's good. That's a, like a plus for me, at least. Yeah, good. me. I mean, I've not lost out on anything, so. Awesome. What about you, Arya? Anything happening? Um, I was at Comic Con last time we were playing, mm -hmm. and uh, that was a very busy, very tiresome, but also very fun weekend. And I finally returned last night, so I'm still absolutely knackered, but I'm so happy that we're playing tonight. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, so uh, well, I was at Comic Con as well, but I left Sunday night. I got home at like midnight and. Pretty much slept in till noon yesterday. So <laughs> it <jealous>. was amazing. <laughs> well, I wasn't asleep. I was. I think I woke up at like ten, but I just like stayed in bed till twelve. But yeah, that was that was a good day. What are you used to? Work. That's really all. I need to get this changed, you know. But it's just been work and work, even on bank holiday Monday. I know. I oh, know. I hate working bank holidays. The buses are messed up. Just. Don't even get extra pay at McDonald's for working a bank holiday because it's franchise owned. Mm. <sighs> Just a normal day. Other fast food uh, emporiums also exist. Uh, the yeah. probably, over <laughs> <laughs> yeah. probably shouldn't have mentioned where I work. Let's, let's corporate sponsor <laughs> crash the channel already. Uh, <laughs> on that note though, folks, like, subscribe, share with your friends. <laughs> um... I went and seen Aladdin. Uh, me and Stu actually went and saw Aladdin. That was that was good fun. See, so you did that, Stu. Um, yeah, did, did do something. Uh, yeah. I went and seen... Also, Aladdin was great, I thought, personally. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot of fun, but I really liked the animation of Aladdin growing up. I, I think Will Smith did a, as good a job as anyone could have hoped for, uh, quite frankly, when following in such ridiculously huge footsteps. You know. I mean, I was quite excited that he was gonna be genie but mm. his um i saw a clip of his prince ali video bit and i'm just like dude you can sing why is this sounding terrible weirdly right so i'll give you that every day but jasmine right so jasmine gets an awesome song and she could mm. like whoever sings that song if it is naomi scott well done to her um but, she is a singer. Yeah, so, so it will, must be then, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, then, like, because her song was incredible compared to, like, she really did outsing everyone, I thought, in that. And everybody else had this weirdly, we're not really sure how to make this live action, this song, vibe to it in terms of the quality of the singing. But the overall performance of the whole Prince Ali scene was incredible, I thought. And I loved the Friend Like Me scene as well. I don't know. I just had a lot of fun and I was. Every day I had apprehension about the genie, I ignored that and went, I've watched the trailer, it looks fun, I'll go watch it with an open mind. I had a lot of fun watching it, it took me back to my childhood and places, it was modernised in the right places as well as the movie. Um, yeah, Heatlow Will Smith put his own stamp on the genie as well, which was nice, it wasn't just I'm trying to be Robin Williams, it's no, this is my incarnation of the genie. Um, yeah. 
and I really hope to do Return of Jafar so I can hear them do Second Rate as a song musical number because I really love that song and if you don't know it go listen to it because it's really fun and it's ridiculous because they get the word pontificate in a song and it's amazing um, <laughs> but yeah uh, that's just my childhood being realised and it was really nice and then I went and saw John Wick 3 again because John Wick 3 is excellent and ah uh, it's just a really good movie so if MD yeah, hasn't seen the Dominic series, go do that. Treat yourself. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty much what I've done, besides writing for all the games that I do. Um, which I wouldn't bore people with, since we're in one of them, which is good. Right, so. That's an actual official pregame that we've done now. Yata to us. Uh, now, Yata! <laughs> Yata! Now who remembers what happened last time? Uh, stuff uh, we and things. In, uh, ended with us renting a boat and about to go off on our merry way to the deadliest place in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Mm. What else happened? Uh, right, so it started off was... with what? He's, he's, burned, he's went up and met the Great Gold Worm. Yeah. He was there, yeah. Yeah, he was. He appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> he did throw shade, yeah. But you kind of asked for it. I mean, not really. What do I get if I help? I mean... It, yeah. my, my first name is Lord. <laughs> 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 oh. so, well, my first name's Eric, actually. That's a title. <laughs> oh. Oh, I just heard Tony Stark say it differently, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so... That happened, right? We had the meeting with the Great Gold Worm. And then... Yep, you were told that the members of the Golden Order, being Crumbar and Reach, have been <laughs> assigned to this expedition towards the, the Abyss, because the Great Gold Worm has had concerns about things in the south, where the Abyss is. Excuse me. And he's sent them along and he says, your companions are more than welcome to go with you guys because he understands that the Hooded Woman has assigned you guys to each other in some way that he isn't necessarily sure of. But he wouldn't attempt to undo what she's trying to set in motion. He's found out that they were old, old friends. And uh, am I missing anything? That was about it, really. Uh, yeah. Eremos got his gold ink. That was a thing. Um. Yeah, I got a bag full of ink for him. You got a what? A bag full of ink. You did indeed. Yeah, you definitely did indeed. Um, because we had that's how we we ended was your awesome Bruce Wayne moment when you went and pledged your your vow to your family portrait. And then, yeah, because fucking bitches are completely sane. Yeah. <laughs> and then you. Uh, Grab your stuff and then head it off out into the night to go meet up with everybody for your uh, your super awesome boat adventure. Uh, yeah, and quite really so. Crumbar did this, like he was assigned to go secure passage on a ship to get his from Glitterhaven all the way down to the Golden Order, like Citadel. Uh, so yeah, we obviously have cut from the use opening the doors to the armory of the Golden Order. Uh, Outpost, as it were. Again, I'm changing the name of what that building is called every single time, but that's fine. So, <laughs> the Golden Order building. And uh, you go in. Uh, you sort of raided the armory. Raided it. Isn't that right, Kitty? No. What are you on about? <laughs> she says clanking about it every step. <laughs> yeah, I am not silent anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so you've raided thoroughly the, uh, the equipment of the Golden Order. Uh... I think I've just been calling them Golden Order Halls. That's what I think I wanted to call them. Her Golden Order Hall. Um, but again, I'll change my mind in a, ten minutes. So, yeah, do you want... Like, the people that are actually in the the hall, do you want to actually do anything while in there still? Or are you just happy to just meet at the docks? What do you just want to do? Because obviously I don't want to skip to the docks if you're like, can I go back to the Order Hall? <laughs> so what's the thoughts, Alpha Team? Uh -huh. I'll put this spot I've got. Where is Eremus at the moment? 
I mean, he's in the barrack. Remember, he, he was KO'd on the bed? Yeah. In the barracks? Yeah, so he's still there. He's not in the hall with us. Well, I mean, the order, like the the Golden Order Hall is the entire building user in. Oh, right. Yeah. Like the fortress, as it were. The multiple named right. building. We're not in the armory, right? We're just in the. But the, the armory is within yeah. the hall. Like the, yeah. the order hall. But that is my question, right? So where do you want to be when the camera fades in? Do you want to still be in the order hall? Do you just want to have left there and just met at the docks? Like, what? what's the plan? Uh, I think we're all okay. I was just thinking about getting rid of that letter, Kitty. That's the only thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, so like, let's just decide that now then, right? What are we doing with the letter? Are we going to have burnt it in a fire somewhere, or are we going to... Yeah, we'll have somehow... That would be wasteful. It is wasteful, but it might be awkward if he finds us have it. Yeah. It's just rather not face that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, just burn it. Oh, the letter. Letter. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I understood letter I've and gone. I thought that we were like... Oh, got, sorry. Like, no. You're slowly old, smoking out the order old, holes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Burning all the old equipment in a big pile. We can yeah, use that. No, like, sorry. Has to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm Romania, so what are you? <laughs> I know. I know. Put the letter then off to the docks. As simple as that. Yes. So, okay, are you going to just throw it into a fire somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Make sure it burns. You're not okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll Kitty, just. Can you uh... Make sure that burns, please. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right, so, Kitty, are we. Throwing it into a fire. Well, as I say, we can assume you either found a big fireplace or an open brazier somewhere. Like, you found something, right? To burn it in. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Now, are you trying to do this without anybody noticing? Yes. Cool. Do you want to, re I need ro to roll a stealth? Yeah. Do you want to roll maybe stealth? Maybe stealth. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Thank you. I will take a note of this. So, wasn't that stealthy? Well, it depends. If anybody was trying to watch or if anybody would notice they would have a rule or a number that that has to beat if that makes sense so you've given mm. me how sneaky you are so that would be like a dc a difficulty check for me so you are nine hard to see essentially i am um, if one of my guys rolls a perception of some kind and gets nine or higher they have seen you uh, make sense yeah right, burning the letter stealth Nine. Cool. Uh, now I need you to roll me a d20. For no reason at all. <laughs> wow. Perfect. You can all your bad rolls now, please. Oh. Someone didn't make their sacrifices to nothing, clearly. It's all the, it's all the jingling. Yeah. Too much stuffs. This is before I dropped everything. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it would have been because it used it in the armor stuff in the morning mm -hmm. before leaving, is my assumption. Um, obviously, if MD, like, I don't think there's a long rest need right now in terms of you have had a long rest, but I think everybody should be full of everything anyway, so yeah, there should be no need to reset things. Oh, um, I didn't mean to do that. I was just seeing what it said. I was just so I what think it did. I've got one hand or two handed, I think. Yeah, because you're going to hold it with two hands, essentially. Yeah. Uh, which does more damage. Right, so. I'm just making myself some GM notes, obviously, for no reason at all. Because that one is the best thing you could have rolled for me. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Uh, can you roll me perception now? fine. Yep, you're happy enough. You threw the letter in, it burnt away, burnt up, and yeah, you just head back to the barracks. Yeah. Cool. Cool, yep. And like, you're welcome to have stayed a wee bit longer, made sure there wasn't just like parts of burnt letter or anything, like you could have stoked the, the brazier or whatever a little bit if yeah. need be, or like a bit of a dagger to make sure the, the bits are burnt so that you're not just leaving, you know, you've probably seen bits of the ash fly up and stuff. Completely fine. So... <laughs> Yeah, and weirdly, with it not having an AC falling off that piece of paper, then yeah, like it's a hit. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like that's fine. 
I decimated it. So yeah, as far as you're concerned, letter is gone. Noise. The letter was gone before. But now the letter definitely is gone. No. It is definitely <laughs> gone now. <laughs> um so yeah. What now? Are we gonna go are we cutting to the docks or are we got any other business in the order hall? What about you, Arya? Any other business in the order hall? Um for example, when you wake up, what are you telling Armos? And also we're gonna have to take them with us. So right? that's what I'm gonna ask, yeah. What are you doing with Armos? Because I think that like we were sent to him for a reason. We weren't told like send him, bring him to the Great Worm, whatever. So I don't think that we're supposed to leave him here. I would think that we should bring him along, but I was about to ask that. I was like when we were kidding ourselves and everything, like He's coming with us. Surely we should, I don't know, throw some chain mail on him or something to make sure he's kind of protected. <laughs> How dare you franchise it? Fringe. <laughs> Sorry, what? Uh, Stu is like, is there any mithril shirts kicking about? It's a Lord of the Rings reference. Yes. Um, <laughs> and say, no, I, just, I literally didn't hear properly. I know, that's why I'm repeating what? <laughs> Mithril, yeah. It was real strong metal. It was very really, it'd be perfect for them, but it cost a fortune. Uh, hmm. It'd make them full of surprises. Yes. <laughs> uh, you're slowly redeeming yourself, Cal. <laughs> for what I, mean... I don't know. But yeah. Okay. So yeah, what are you doing with the kid? So the kid the kid can't wear Oscar. armor. He's not proficient with any armor. Uh, okay. Right. So he can't wear armor. Like, it's not to say you can't just pile stuff on him and watch him slowly crawl with armor on him, <laughs> but like... <Yeah. laughs> okay. No, I was thinking something very light, but if you can't even have light, then that's, that's fine. Nah. I mean, if he's wanted oh, to, like, I requisite, like, some kind us. of... If he's wanted to requisite, like, robes for him or something, or, like, you know, like, almost like tunics, do you know what I mean? Like, almost like martial arts style. I think st- similar to, like, what Reach would maybe wear. Um, like, obviously, there there is other clothing he could wear. So you could unlock the Golden Order skin for Eremos if you wanted. Um, but that's re- like shrug. You always understood yeah. what I meant. It's fine. Yeah. Be up to him if you wanted to. That's, but it's not going to change He's, much, I think. Like, if you ask him if he cares about that, his response is that he, like, what's wrong with the clothes he has? Right, that's yeah. his response. Yeah, I don't think he'd be that kind of kid. Nah, he, he doesn't specifically care. Because his outfit is like a generic, like, what, kid outfit? Like, you know, it's nice enough. Like, if you looked at, like, the stitching would be nice and such. Like, it maybe just looks worse than it actually is, if that makes sense. Um, It just looks like somebody with a lot of money made, paid a lot of money for, like, a really simple looking outfit to be made. So yeah, are you taking Aramos to the docks? Yeah, he's gonna come with us. I think. I think he has to. Yeah. What do okay. you guys think? I mean, there's nothing that's happened that made me think that we're supposed to just deliver him to the Golden Order and leave him here. And he is supposed to be a weapon, and we're going somewhere dangerous. So who knows? Maybe the void triggers some sort of final power in him. I don't know, but. Like, even without that, like, I don't think we're supposed to just randomly leave him there. Oh, yeah, you'll be safe here. Oh, you could trigger a big bad boss. Well, that's a risk. <laughs> I like that one. Well, that's also a possibility. <laughs> oh, give me a wee second, guys. Like, discuss it amongst yourselves. What's the pros and cons of Aramos going with you on this super dangerous adventure? And I'll deal with the fact that my legs fell asleep. Bear with me. Well, we're already in danger, uh, so he may as well come in my opinion. Yeah, I suppose. Like, there's no harm bringing him sp- uh, like along, but he needs to hide whenever combat starts. Or sometimes just sleep through it occasionally. So, yeah. Cool. Well, what we'll do then is we'll fade in at the docks, right? So. We're open up at the docks, obviously. Crumbar is dealing with 
the uh, like the captain or the first mate of the ship that he's about to go on. Um, so he's obviously narratively excused for reasons. And yeah, you guys assemble at the dock side, like the little kind of. It's quite a big harbour, essentially at the bottom of Glitterhagen, um, because obviously it's a huge trade city, and yeah, you obviously have arranged to meet Eric there. So Eric, you obviously head. You see the group. You have kindly assembled. We fit in on that as you approach the group. We're obviously very easy to spot in the crowd. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and one, one over, over, give everyone a little wave and a little nod, and uh, hand, hand it back to Aramos and say to him, "You're going to enjoy that." And he kind of looks up. At Actually, you. before we go, before yeah. on board, could I buy some like so, black paint from somewhere? Fine. We're going to just pause you there, though, because we've not even left the harbour. We're not even on a ship yet. We're just on. We're in the like that part of it. You know, we're sure. still in the the bottom of the sea. So yeah, yeah, Eric, you hand uh, Aramos the bag, and uh, he kind of like looks up at you, like almost quizzical, you know, that kind of suspicious. Hmm, what's this? Because obviously we've had Crumbar talk about putting him in a bag before, so he's a bit suspicious. And uh, he grabs the bag, and then he kind of looks. I think it was what three bottles, wasn't it? I think there was three bottles. I can't remember exactly what we said, but I think there was three bottles or something. Um, I think. Do you remember, Eric? I, I can't remember. We just said that I scooped some, bot- yeah. scoop some bottles into the bag. And then um, he opens the bag and uh, like reaches in. And he, obviously, as soon as he kind of puts his hand in, you can see his face like soften from the suspicion. Because right? he knows exactly what it is as soon as he can feel the shape of the, the ink bottle. And he picks them out. And he's like, wow, and they're different colours too. As he kind of like just piles into the bag because the bag very quickly gets Aww. sat on the ground and he climbs into it pulling pulling this stuff out and then, uh, <laughs> but that, I mean he just leans like his torso into the, the top end of it as he leans in to pick up these ink bottles then he puts them into his bag and then picks up the empty Aww. bag and then just kind of hands it op- like op- like you know both hands out with this bag like do you want your bag back <laughs> um, do whatever with it I've got loads of bags and he just looks so puzzled. Like, really, <laughs> like... It broke him. Yeah, he doesn't... He's kind of frozen. I kind of grab him by the shoulders, look into his eye and go, it's your decision to make. Roll insight. Eric. Because, <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, this kid has been uh, touched by one of the people in the party previously... And we're going to skip all the jokes that we made last time about that. And then... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you just don't catch this at all. Um, does anybody else remember what happened last time someone made physical contact with a kid that wasn't a uh, crumbar bopping them on the head with a hammer? Didn't he just sort of look at him really confused, like, why are you touching me? Yeah, it was quite... It was, Yeah, he was quite freaked out, in a way. So... The kid's now like stone stiff, and there's like the bag's dropped, and he's kind of like slowly pulling his hands in closer, like kind of crossing them over his chest a little. I kind of like back up and go, Whoa. You don't really notice this, you don't think you've done anything wrong. You kind of like, by this point, you've probably stood <laughs> up again after you've said that, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Just carry on with my day. Mm. Yeah, because like you can notice him do that, but you don't necessarily think anything of it because your insight sadly was too low. Um, so you don't Not really. Would any of us notice? <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, just you have been through him reacting this way previously, so yeah, this is quite obvious to you guys that obviously, essentially, a stranger has just initiated physical contact with Ermos. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, we know it's not like inappropriate contact, so it's not like. No, it's just that you know that Ermos is a bit freaked out by that. That's all. We're just gonna wait for the fallout, basically. <laughs> well, you are. It sounds like. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, great. Here we go. I don't have a free hand. I'm carrying too much stuff. I'm sorry. Would come for <laughs> you, but you yes. already kind of hate me, so. <laughs> Hi. Uh, what about Reach and or Arya? Are you just gonna do anything, <laughs> or? 
happy to just I'll, let I'll, that play I'll, out. I'll go to, to like Eric and like tap him on the shoulder. I'm like, he doesn't like to be touched. No, many people do. Hmm. And why do you have to do that? Because I can. <laughs> My character's quite, uh, you know, arrogant. Does what he likes. He's a noble. He doesn't need permission. He gives permission to himself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, though, right? For yeah. a Nobel. <laughs> Nobel Prize is me. Nobel dick. I mean, what? <laughs> hi oh, First swear word <laughs> of the night. Um, I assume. But, She's a filthy woman. <laughs> it's pronounced cat. Well, let's put it this way. Let's not do it. Yeah, Julian Aaron. Thank you. And yeah. I just turned towards the kid. I'm like, are you okay? And he's kind of like standing there, and then like he turns round to you, and he's still kind of got like his hands half kind of crossed over him, and he as if he's not really noticed his body language, and he's like, "Are we leaving yet?" Soon. Yes, soon. And he kind of just like nods. Slowly, like his hair does that thing where it kind of like falls more over his shoulders, and then Aww. he then just like slings his backpack back on his back, and then kind of just stands holding like his his straps, um, and then like sticks a wee bit closer to you, are you? Um, oh bless! But anytime like you look at him or no, or look eyes with him or anything, he'll puff out his chest as if he's still protecting you. Ah, <gasps> he's in love. I mean Oh goodness, the kid better not have a crush on me Let's just say with your insight of it Yeah, that's, you could totally think that if you wanted eh? Yeah Yeah. <laughs> that's what you see <laughs> um, You've also noticed that uh, Crumbar waves everything over uh, to signal <laughs> the ship is leaving <laughs> um, is that, As I said, before we leave can I like buy some paint from somewhere Paint Uh huh Hint. I'm not yes. Why as well, but... Interesting. Well, I'm thinking if we at some point need to go like incognito, we might want to like you know the gold. cover up the gold of our armor. Hmm. I'm thinking. Well, it's still gonna have dragons on it, so just put leaves um... on it. It's fine. So what would happen? Right? So that's a bit, like Sophie makes a very good point here. You would be painting armor that is gold with dragon emblems all over it. To look like black dragon armor. Oh shoot! Okay, okay, so okay. If you, so if you want that, I got it. I got what you mean. No, 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 no. Because, because, <laughs> yeah, I got what you yep. mean. Okay. Um, I wasn't sure if it's perhaps only painted with dragons on it. Then realized it would be like engraved. Yeah. So like, I genuinely can... thought it's all painted. So if it was all painted, I was like, eh, whatever. Engraved, embossed. But... Yep. Okay. Never mind. No paint needed. Yep. Um. Also, if any of you want to try and tarnish the armor, you are welcome to try. <laughs> Get a chisel. Chisel it off. <laughs> Let me guess it. You can't mess this armor up. It has a... Um, gold. It's got a... An enchantment on it. There is a Pist property to it. Pistol. No, it's not even that. There is a... Um, I'll find it uh, at some point, and I'll show you what it is. It's something like uh, Gleaming, I think it's called. Um, where have I put my Xanathar's Guide to Everything? Here it is, here. I, and I'll just quickly see if I can somehow magically remember where my page was because I did bookmark a lot of this book for myself um, if I can't find it in the next couple of seconds I'm moving on let's see Uh, yeah, so there's a thing called Armour of Gleaming, uh, and it's this armour never gets dirty. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it would be interesting if you tried to like paint it black, put it that way. It's not to say that um, everything of yours has this gleaming paint. thing put onto it, yeah. but... Painting something isn't making it dirty. Uh, it depends what the armour considers dirt. <laughs> <laughs> like, Crumbar tries to put it on, it pops off of him. You know, <laughs> <laughs> again, cheap shot. Sorry, Scott. Um, 
but yeah. But I mean, there's ways around weak magic, right? So don't if I say something's got a magical effect, keep in mind that most magic has like a level to it. So this armor isn't considered magic armor, right? There's no magic armor quality to it, but it does have this gleaming property on top of it. Make sense? So there's enough of a magic to keep it clean over it. It's not to say that if you didn't um, do some kind of ritual to remove that, you couldn't then cover the armor in a different color or whatever he's wanted. Do you know what I mean? So there, there is the scope to do that. You just might want somebody good with uh, magic, you know. And sadly, your sorcerer can't do ritual magic yet. So that's a thing wizards, clerics, and uh, I think druids can do. So yeah. But I ain't anyway. a wizard. <laughs> I ain't a wizard. Now, you can still go and buy paint if you want and still like have that scene play out. Uh. That's fine. Anybody else want to do anything before we leave? No. Nope. Cool. So yeah, he's, um, he's all climb aboard the ship. Uh, let's see. Let's get some names generated, shall we? So... Uh, somebody speak first. Hello? Cool. Right, so we're going to get you to roll on... Roll me a d100 on roll 20. That's slash roll. Slash r space 1. Oh, I've apparently just left the game. Uh, I'll just jump back in, I guess. Oh. Womp womp womp. How random. What have we got? 30? Cool. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's see what I can find. Right, so the captain is called Dimitri. If you just want to write this down somewhere in the. On it. Right. Also, because I'm not going to remember this, so I need you to. Huh. <laughs> I mean, we can give him a last name if you really want to give him a last name, because why not? Eh. So I'm not really fussed, but his name's Dimitri. Uh, the first mate is called Irina. Like the girl's name? Yep. I-R-I-N-E. Yep. Uh, and there is miscellaneous crew, and you don't have names for them. Also because I probably sure. won't, be, I won't be caring about them. Their narrative background. No offense. And it? can someone else roll me? Who want it? Somebody else want to speak? Hello. Uh, yep, still got there. Uh, roll me a D one hundred. God. The click button only goes up to. Twenty <laughs> <laughs> was it? One hundred. Right, there we go. Oh. Right. So let's have a look. We're going up in multiples of ten. <laughs> yeah, that's really weird. That's right. <laughs> Sophie, do you want to roll a d100 and see if we get a 60? Because that would be awesome. Who, me? Yeah, you're Sophie. Yeah. Yeah, please, thanks. Okay. Which one no. am I rolling? Just a d100. So you need to type 4 slash r space 1. 100. Forward slash r, r space r. 1. 1d100. Oh man! Oh, you're a troll. <laughs> well, we tried. I tried. Okay, <laughs> let's have a look. Uh, this is. I'm trying to find the name of the ship. That's what I'm trying to do just now. <laughs> That's actually kind of awesome, right? So we got fifty for Stu, and we got a forty for. Adrian to four years. Right, okay, so does somebody want to write this down now? This is the name of the ship yep. that you get. It's Kalista's Laughter. So K A L L I S T A, obviously an apostrophe S. Laughter. Sure. That's an awesome name for a ship. Yep. Um. Nice. So uh, yeah, that is some stats for those people at least in terms of being able to refer to them. 
And yeah, so he's board the ship. Obviously, the first mate introduces herself. Um, obviously, as Irina, a uh, kind of thumbs over her shoulder up at the captain. Uh, says it's Dimitri. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. You're we'll just on the to both of them. Yeah, you're on the Kalista's the Kalista's laughter. Uh, and yeah. Use a <laughs> wave to Glitterhagen as it sails out. Kalista's laughter. That's a ship name. Try and make my notes make sense to me when I look at them in a week's time and go, what was I thinking? <laughs> uh, right, okay. So, can someone roll. <laughs> right, Sophie, I haven't used your roll yet, so I'll take your 33. And here we go. Major oh 66. Oh my god, I can't. I can't use that. There's a reason why I can't use the name that's under that, but I'll, I'll tell you that later. Um, so we're gonna go for. Do you want give another D one hundred, okay? You cut off then. Oh, sorry. I need another D one hundred roll from you. Me. Yeah. So if you click into oh. the, the little chat box and just hit up, it should still have your maths for the previous one. Yeah. Ooh, a ten. Arnold. That's an awesome name. <laughs> so Paladin Arnold. Is accompanying you on this journey from the Golden Order. Nice. He's like the liaison along with Crumbar, because let's face it, yeah. Um, <laughs> Paladin, Geo Paladin, Arnold. Here's accompanying him. Excellent. Yeah, so yeah, he's a uh, set sail. The boat isn't huge, right? It is not huge, but it is it's big enough. For the purposes, and you then um, leave the harbour. Glitterhagen slowly shrinks as you head out into the the Midland Sea. So, what do you do when you're on board? Like the crew go about their business. There's not many of them. It doesn't take too much to run this ship. Um, first mate and captain kind of keep to themselves. They seem to get into uh, various debates that seem almost in incoherent and loud. Um, so yeah, obviously as I said, the, the currents are magically controlled in this world, so the way this is uh, set up, uh, you go almost into like a, like a, a bit like a lane in a motorway, only it's the currents in the sea. So you have to find <laughs> the right kind of groove and then you kind of ride that for the direction you want to go. Much like actual sailing, only this is magically like uh, reinforced. So yeah, it takes a bit of a, a knack. It's like sailing with a an artificial sea, I guess. So yeah. What do you do while on board? Because it's going to be days. And I mean days of travel. Well, I will spend most of my time sat in the crow's nest if it's got one. Just looking out at the vastness. It's probably not big enough to have a crow's nest, but it does have two big long masts. Uh, so you could totally just climb to the top of the mast and just chill out at the top of one of those, yeah. It's just probably yeah. not as safe as a crow's nest, but it ain't, like, I mean, you're a rogue, so that's fine. It's alright, I've got claws. I'll yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're sorted. As long as you don't just take all of your equipment up with you, you're fine, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I meditate and practice my arts, I guess. Mm hmm. Yeah, makes sense. So we're gonna to go to the front of the boat and just stay. I'm saying, put your arms out to the side and close your eyes. <laughs> I'm the king of the world. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. It's just more like uh, staring at a destination, kind of intrigued. All right, cool. Yep. So you can just look out up at the front of the boat at the ocean and stare off almost. Yeah. Makes sense. And then... Let's dump that there. That was a really ceremonious way of saying that. And then... Let's see. What else we got? We'll 
Weirdly, I would have thought I'd have made the Aramosa token by now. How crazy is it that I haven't done that already? Madness. Oh well. Uh, yeah, so let's see if this actually works. Let me just double You're check. You're using a genetic one for them, aren't you? Yeah, and I'll probably just do the same again if I need to. Um, but... Dun, 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 dun! Let's see what yeah. happens. It's like really tall mass, but it's just shadows. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just because I've dynamically lit it. Um, yeah, cool. Right, so... I'm now painfully aware. Do I have... Cool, I should have something here that... Can it see? No. Can it now see if I move it? No, it cannot. Let me fix that. Edit token. Represents that. Advanced. Has a million feet of light. <laughs> and it has the same. Cool. And I just chuck this thing in the middle. And then you just can ignore that. That's just um, the vision of a... But I need a token. Light. I'll go make a token for it. So yeah, user on the ship. I assume everybody can see. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Right, cool. Uh, is this... Yeah, everybody should please see. Uh, so yeah, user on the ship. Uh, feel free to chat amongst yourselves, because uh, as I said, we can be so many days into the journey, we can be at the start of the journey. Uh, this is a good point to actually have characters have the ability to like chat to each other about the upcoming mission. Um, <laughs> things you just want to do, like Eremos can be below deck if need be for these conversations with Crumbar, you know. Um, <laughs> Apparently Crumbar is drinking. Yeah, yeah that's what I was laughing at. <laughs> uh, so we'll chuck a captain there, we'll give them the first mate, and then those tokens will do. Dump this. Maybe I'll just put this out to sea and leave it over there. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Man overboard. I know, shocking. I'm actually trying to find the uh, token that I use for that because there is a token that I use uh, and I will find it. Sounds like such a threat, but you know, <laughs> I will find you. So, yeah. What, like I have possessions used that way, right? Because that's kind of roughly how you told me. So, are you in reach? Now, any, any particular poignantly conversation things happen that you want to go over now? I think it's safe to say that I'll be like, in the night I'll be like looking at stars, I'll be looking at uh, like if there's any sea creatures that we can see, maybe dolphins coming say hi, I'll be like, ooh, you know, like really mm -hmm. excited about that. Um, I don't think I would have been at sea much. Do you speak dolphin? No, probably not. Or... I can speak to animals, I think. Wait a second, I just don't know if it includes all of them. I'll go find that out, and that's quite a good thing to learn. I'm quite sure I have it added, but I'm not sure if it includes mm -hmm. whatever animals live, live in the sea. Oh, massive ruby. Yep, I'm actually just creating my... I have both speak with animals here. and friend animal friendship on right now. Cool. So why don't you pop in your... Is it speak with animals? Is that a red text ability? I think I oh. used it instead of just looking at it. It's okay. You do you for now. Um, I am trying to do this last part where that should have a token already. Mm, it says beast, so... Uh, yeah, that counts. Okay, so if I get rid of uh, that, I get rid of that, and then dump this in. Hmm. How close are we to the void just now? <laughs> Not at all, and it's the abyss. Oh, we've yes. just left. Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, in my head those things are synonymous. I don't understand why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why, but my, my brain sees them as that. That's okay. Okay. Um, 
yeah, so, um, I think I'll just, like, ask for, like, a general, you know, idea of what it's like to live underwater and that sort of stuff, because obviously I have no idea of that, but I... You're going to ask, like, a dolphin, that, like, 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 randomly at night, say, for example, uh, you're going to, like, you're going to be the few people on... I'll be like, hi! <laughs> So, like, Captain and First Mate obviously will take shifts, kind of controlling the, the ship to get it over. Um, okay. So let's say the Captain's the nocturnal one, and he uh, he's obviously, like, there's very little crew necessarily working at night. Uh, you, <laughs> you're leaning over the ship edge, and there's some dolphins. So, yeah, uh, roll animal handling for me. But, see, is it charisma that uses? Because if it isn't, I want it done with charisma. Let me check. That's what it should say in the skill list what it uses in theory. While I try and fix the thing I'm trying to do. Is it down the bottom left, that one? Yeah, animal handling. Uh, these things are just as I can see on the other screen. Right. They create viewpoints for me. So I can I can roll whichever. I just don't know which one you want me to roll. Well, animal handling has an associated stat. What is it? It don't say. Just says bracket dot dot dot. Yeah, same. It's too long. Uh, animal handling. It's a uh, plus five. So what's your plus five? 18 overall. What's that? Hmm? I just rolled animal handling. Yep, so what I'm saying is you add 5 to that roll, right? Because if you oh. look at it, it's a 13 plus 5. Yeah. So look yeah. at your character sheet. What stat has plus 5? Oh, okay. It's your wisdom. Yes. Right, so that means it uses wisdom. So. Well, keep that roll. What's your charisma modifier? One moment. Zero. Cool. So that's a 13, that roll is, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. with ka, right, equals 13. Does that make sense to everybody why we did it yeah, that way? Because yeah. it's easier to kind of yep. modify it. Obviously, we don't need to do the 13 blah 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 if our charisma has been a plus 5 as well, right? It means we can just roll it and we can just know it's the right numbers, if that makes sense. Um, yep, mm -hmm. so you get a 13. Uh, right, I'm assuming you're going to use this as a ritual as opposed to. Yeah, I mean, I've got all the time in the world. I was going to say, yeah, so like it takes like 100 minutes. <laughs> That you decide because sure. it's ten times the amount of the duration. So if you cast sure. speak with animals, it would take ten minutes to cast normally with a, you know, like sorry, that's how long it takes. I'm, ignore everything I've just said. I'm reading the wrong things. So it lasts for ten minutes is what I mean. Okay, okay. it would be one action if you wanted to do it instantly with a spell slot, or it would take a minute, which is completely easy because it would be 10 times 6 seconds that's a minute so ignore everything I've just said because I just can't count welcome to Ryan's <laughs> it's fine um, yeah so you ask the dolphins what's it like living under the sea yeah basically yeah yeah um, the only response you really get from one of them is kind of like you know flips up out of the water splashes in again and says wet <laughs> and like, like splashes its tail into the water and like sprays up water that you can decide if it hits you or misses you, it's not really that big a deal, but like it, that, that's his answer. Oh, I don't mind sc that, so I'll, I'll probably <laughs> just be laughing. Keep in mind though, it's a, more about the, while you can speak to them, it doesn't necessarily mean that they like have you. conversational skills either though, right? Yeah. But um, yeah, that's what it says. I live in Scotland, I don't know what that's like anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't even. Don't even. When I arrived, I was just like, oh, yes, I forgot where I live. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that at that time it was 13 degrees in London and it was friggin' 7 in Scotland. I was like, 
Yes, and this is why I'm moving. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's good. Um, yeah, so um, I will be very much uh, like, you know, non, not not bothered by the fact that, that they just flashed at me. And... Uh, like, it wasn't specifically yeah, a rude way. It was more just like a look, it's wet kind of way. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's why I'm like not, not bothered by it, not like, you know, upset or whatever about it. Um, and I'll, I'll just ask, do you, do you stay in this area or do you travel? I know some animals obviously migrate and whatever. Uh, and then it kind of, um, again, splashes out of the water, splashes back in, a bit of the water sprays up, and uh, it says, pushed places. Oh yeah, because of the current. Current, okay. Mm. Didn't realize it would be that bad. <laughs> yeah, so it's almost like this magic changing the natural order of things, especially like the your reaction is perfect because you're a druid as well there. So your reaction to that is great. It's almost the distaste of the magic affecting things that would otherwise naturally be able to do what they want. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's okay because the ships get to move faster, right? Progress, industry, <laughs> the Wizard King's kingdom. <laughs> Yay. Uh, now, here's a question, Kitty. Are you at the no. top of that mast while she's doing this? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> cool. Roll perception. Let's see how crazy you think I am. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> cool. Roll insight. I know you're licking your lips at the size of those fish in the water. <laughs> Although they're not fish, I guess, but still. <laughs> I okay. have that moment where because uh, like, I'm quite high up, they look smaller than they actually are, so I'm like, oh yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's perfect because you rolled exactly what you would have needed to work this out. You get that Arya's communicating with them, but she is kind of just making dolphin noises. <laughs> so it's just <laughs> like that, yeah. So they're kind of just uh, <laughs> screaming at each other uh, with high-pitched <laughs> eats, as it were. <laughs> high-pitched eats. Um, <laughs> But you don't just think she's crazy. You think she could be crazy, but she looks like she's trying to have a conversation with a dolphin. <laughs> Had your old less than 13, you would have thought she's just crazy. <laughs> but yeah, you matched her charisma, so yeah. <laughs> Hi. Uh, are you going to like drop down and go over and chat to her, or are you happy to stay up there and connect I'm happy to, to stay with her. Where I am, out the way of the water. Yeah, cool, cool. So, um, what's the rest of you doing? So, Reach, you're in bed, you're awake at this point, or? I'm um, just thinking I'm awake and I'm just, to be honest, I can see myself just cross legged, can I? Keep it zoning out yeah. for a while, but yeah, that's, there's not a lot to do in a ship, and, except for keep fit for what happens afterwards. Who are you implying? <laughs> <laughs> How, how very dear. Such uh, potential insults. Um, <laughs> right, let me just move you downstairs then, shall I? Yeah, yeah. Since there is a downstairs. And there's a... probably where Crumber is. So... Whoppa. <laughs> flew off the ship. <laughs> Yeet! So you should be able to see inside there. I oh, do in a minute. I need to just adjust that. Yeah, I can. Cool. Yeah. So I need to move. So I need vision inside the ship as well. So I need to move these things inside. So there might be random giant rubies everywhere. Ah, the sight things. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, so I can see. Because <laughs> that's what I record. I record a separate screen to the GM screen for obvious reasons. Those reasons are I don't want people to see what I roll or what I'm doing all the time. If that makes sense. Yep. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Uh, 
let's just dump that there, dump that there, that makes the most sense. Good, that's better version. So uh, yeah, you're there. I Obviously Crumbar is down here as well, let's dump him up here somewhere. Where are you Crumbar? So he's probably up in a hammock over somewhere. Over the barrels, I'm guessing. Oh. Well, these are all hammocks. This is like the sleeping area up that side of the ship. So yeah. And what about you, Eric? I'm just like leaning over. Keep on on this the, is uh, this is night time now though. This is like sleepy time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of leaning over, just like trying to uh, play with my magic between my hands, trying like wow. trying to learn some sort of small control, kind of like a little training thing. Uh, roll Arcana. That's gonna be terribly wrong, isn't it? I mean, gonna set the boat on fire. Oh, no, I'm digging. Uh -huh. So, you, like, have your hands out, you start to, like, you know, swish them around, magic-like, and you, at the sea, the wind slowly buffing the ship in the right direction needs to be, the currents going the right way, nice clear skies, you feel the wind swirl around you a bit more, you start to, like, f your fingers start crackling with your electricity, and then there's like small clouds that form underneath one of your hands and then lightning starts to like spark towards your fingers below that and you create yourself a wee mini storm between your hands yeah. and it's probably the most you have ever felt in control of your power ever at sea biggest grin oh at sea yeah right that wasn't a caveat to say that this was like a really clever way of me saying this was the most power you've ever felt i just meant at sea it weirdly just felt fitting that you were better at storm magic. Yeah. So yeah, it's almost like the city didn't really like you using storm huh. magic. Weird yeah. that, eh? It did weird. Mm. Yeah, I guess I got, I got like this big grin across my face because I feel like I'm in control for once. Mm -hmm. Also, with that roll, I'll give you a bit more insight to that. I know it's a skill in itself, but that's fine. I, you've done enough research magically to know each of the, the cities in the kingdom are protected with a giant magical ward. Generally they're kept invisible but they're like big... Does everybody know what a D8 looks like? It's a, essentially like a four-sided pyramid on top of a four-sided pyramid. Yep. Yeah. Um, well that's the, the design of these things. Like a big kind of like diamond essentially that hovers above the city and they're generally invisible until they're needed, put it that way. But, like, the Wizard King helped set all them up to protect the cities as a standard thing. So, maybe you finally put two and two together that maybe that didn't let your magic be as natural now that you're away from the city, you know, away from the ward's protection. Maybe your magic's a bit easier flowing. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, you know about the wards over the cities because you've specifically cool. went to look into magic stuff, obviously makes sense when you start to learn sorcery you know, and by learning I mean learn that you are a sorcerer cool. Nobody else probably knows about those because I don't think anybody else has a background that really makes sense about that yeah. Mm. But yeah and these things are mighty powerful, those wards, because obviously they're giant, you know, magic diamond things in the sky that protect. There's no more to sense, they just protect. They protect. Mm -hmm. I, um, I'll show you an image of exactly how I see these things. Uh, three seconds. And then <laughs> the anime fans amongst you will recognize them instantaneously. <laughs> I don't know if you know what those are or what that is, but uh, yeah. No. No. It's a. Uh, but that's what they will look like if they ever become visible. Ah. Okay. Big giant diamonds. Hmm. Above the cities, which are just big giant magical wards. Um. But yeah. That image is from Evangelion, 
and is uh, one of the angels in Evangelion. Um. I wondered why it looked familiar. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's what's above the seas. Because the Wizard King wasn't just going to like not protect his places if somehow he wasn't paying attention constantly, right? Mm. So, yeah. Um, right, so, again, a couple of days are going to pass, so is there anything that people specifically want to do? Do they want to practice anything? Like, are they, like, you just tell me, you know, you've, got, you've probably got a, at least a week of a uh, travel. Yeah, I was thinking just practicing my martial arts, my skills. Mm. As, so I'm dancing around, punching air. As, but. Yeah, why don't you give us a, a roll for that? Do I even just give us um okay. the probably the best one is just make an attack roll, right? Yeah, I just hit. Uh, not a bad one. Yeah, uh, what did we get? Let me go back to it. Yeah, it's pretty damn good, to be honest. Yeah. yeah it's pretty damn yeah. good. I mean it matched his arcana roll. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. Um so yeah, you've got you performing your kind of kata. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well uh, done. Yes, indeed. So <laughs> I'm a learned being, and uh, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, and MD that's paying attention. Obviously, maybe you're kind of seeing the full kind of serenity of this monk, you know, in the full swing. It's kind of awesome. I think as well, like at that point, like Eremos is probably studying you. As well, right, like yeah. he he probably finds this super interesting. Something different. Yeah. yeah. Because obviously he saw you fight Crumbar, and he, he was quite excited at that, right? But now he's watching you kind of move for no reason in his eyes. You're just mm -hmm. moving. Yeah. And he's just kind of... Like, if if I put you back on... like Would you be doing it below deck or above deck? Or I'd top deck? probably rather do it above deck, but it would be somewhere where I'm not in the way. That's the only thing. Yeah, so... I might we'll, be busy during the day, but... We'll that's... dump you back up on top deck. Yeah. Um, and we'll move Eric. In fact, top of the anchor, they'd be quite quiet that side. Yeah. And then uh, I'll throw in another another commoner, as it were, for Eremos. And he's probably like sat, like sitting on the edge of the the wall, just kind of yeah. watching you as you're performing, like you're kind of cat. So. Yeah. Aye. And literally, like, unless you say anything to, like, engage him, he's just going to sit silent and just kind of, like, let you do your thing um, for like, the first, like, day. So when would you start doing that, like, into the journey? How far into the journey do you think that would it would be before you were like, no, I need to go do something? I uh, would say it would be quite early, to be honest. Yeah. I might manage one day without it, but other like, than that, yeah. I think was it like it's probably been maybe the second night that we had Arya talking to dolphins. So, yeah, yeah. Like at least two nights, at least on the second night of sailing, um, she yeah. spoke to dolphins. And um, we've probably had Kitty very quickly climb to the top of that mast and just decide that's where she's wanting to spend most of the trip. Um, mm. And then, yeah, like how far into the journey did you want your your small storm to be, Eric? Um. Uh, about halfway through. Yeah. So yeah, we've still we'll do that then, and then obviously the next time you go to do your uh, kata, do you want to roll again for me on our attack roll? Yeah. Uh, there we oh, go. God, it's improved. I'm reading my rules. <laughs> so I can do, do the same name for later. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why would you be? That's so weird. <laughs> why? 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 Um, Just in case. <laughs> right, okay, so. Uh, I'm just going to do a roll. Look at that. <laughs> so, Eremos has. Starting to copy, is it? He's literally like. Day two, you start doing the moves, and then, like, the camera does that thing where, like, it pans to the side and sees that he's been blocked by you by the camera initially. And then uh -huh. you move to the side from the angle, and he's there, and he's doing the exact same moves as you. <laughs> oh. And I mean the exact same moves. Obviously, yeah. your 25 is better than his 20, right? Yeah. Monkey see, monkey do. But that is, like, 
you know you took, you know, several years to perfect these motions and movements and the fluidity of combat and yeah. he's like someone that would be at the end of their journey, you know? Um mm -hmm. so yeah, he's copying how you fight. And it's one of those things where he hasn't said a single word about it. Like he hasn't asked any questions. He's just been staring like the entire first time you did it. And then obviously you went away and he kind of just like probably went and just wrote in his book for a bit. <laughs> and then the next day you go to do it and then maybe you just notice it when you go to like pivot on one, like maybe when you like pull up onto like one foot, the ball of your foot or something and you pivot yeah. around to face that direction and you notice that he's there and he's pivoted facing the other direction as well. Very um, karate kid, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's awesome. Um, I'll just take that was for Eremos. Um, er, Eremos Kata. I'm so happy he got a nat 20 for that. That was awesome. Uh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Even the 16's pretty good though. Uh, had it been the other role, but like, I'm so happy he got that. And I just figured I'd use the, the commoner stats because it was a button I could click without having to really think too hard about what Eremos's dexterity would be. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, what, what's everything else up to then? Because I keep mind you've still got like another, you know, handful of days to kill. I'll be playing with my new toys. Okay. Anything Getting particular? myself used to my new... Um, well, I didn't have darts before. Well, so here's a question. Like, Would you ask to spar with anyone? No. Because you could. don't know. I don't think I'd be the type to... I don't know. Because I think I'd be more like fight when you need it, but be prepared for it. Yeah, but I mean, there's also okay. training to be prepared, right? Yeah. And you've seen that Eremos has obviously tried to teach himself something new by watching Reach, so... Yeah. I would say, well, my, my guess is, yeah, you're probably right. N nature's ways to fight when you, when you need it. You don't really practice, although cubs and all that practice. I guess, you can yeah. Say. But so that, that's why I'm a bit confused now. I don't know if I should or shouldn't because yeah. I kind of want to do what I feel she would do, which is not to like go out of her way and like spar and like that sort of thing. But at the same time, like what, what about magic? They try and be other animals or whatever, or something more along those lines. Talking more with other animals as well, or whatever. But I mean, because yeah, I mean, you could wild shape. Uh, the thing is, at your level, there's rules about wild shape where you, you can't be. Uh, yeah, because there's a whole table for it. You can't do anything with a swim speed or a flight speed at this level. It is in right. the. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I can make myself into a mouse. But let's not. <laughs> Just jump overboard. <laughs> no, I was more worried about the fact that I might be like. Caught by somebody and thrown mm. off board. Like but the yeah. ship's cat that it has, which is, by the way, like weirdly <laughs> unlucky in some uh, cultures. Uh, <laughs> it's also really lucky in a certain series of books to have a cat on the ship. I yeah. thought you'd always have a cat on the ship to keep rats down and so on. But yeah, yeah. there's um, different fantasy books that have it being a good omen and a bad omen, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, so here it is. At second level, your max CR rating is one quarter, and the limitations is no flying or swimming speed. An example is a wolf. Uh, at fourth level, you get one half a uh, CR rating, so it goes up to one half, and then you have the only limitation is no flying speed. So at fourth level, you can turn into dolphins. Oh. The example he gives a crocodile. And then at eighth level, See, that's more useful. Your CR rating is one. Uh, like your max CR rating, that is. Uh, CR is challenge rating, and that's how difficult yeah. the thing is, as you know. Uh, eighth level, there's no limitations, and the example they give is a giant eagle. Oh. Yeah. So that's the kind of stages of your uh, beast shape. As it's called. Uh, I think it might freak people out if I was to transform myself into a wolf in the middle of the, the ship. Just saying. I mean, yeah. It would be weird, right? But these are people that sail the Midland Sea, right? So the folk on the ship might be a bit weird at first, but there's probably weirder shit, right? They're probably still. It is also like a high magic world, right? It's just generally a lot of the magic's kept to well, Horizon 
is obviously where Princess Dristoria kind of operates from and most of the wizardly stuff happens there. All the wizard colleges and stuff focus there. Yeah. Um, the capital is obviously where the king is and he's the wizard king. Um, Glitterhagen is a massive trade city so obviously there's a bit of everything in Glitterhagen. Like if you wanted to find a guy who knew a guy who owed a guy a favour that knew a wizard once like that's a Glitterhagen thing. Right, that's also a Shadowport thing, which is why Shadowport's right next to Glitterhagen. But that's a shady guy that knew a shady guy that killed a guy that stole that guy's wallet that was a wizard's wallet <laughs> that probably led to somewhere in the horizon. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, and then High Rock, which is way out near the ocean, that's like where all the kind of super rich human people live, um, and that's a that's a very old city, very traditional. <laughs> read racist but yeah <laughs> traditional yeah. Uh, but yeah so am they doing anything that they want to cover in the journey or are we just gonna skip ourselves to the end of the journey I'm happy skipping to the end there's nothing really we want to discuss or talk about we just want to see what we're up against really I think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely so like we're probably um Maybe still about a day out from the, uh, like, coming into the Golden Order port, as it were. Because you still need to travel a bit. When you get to, like, the the coast where the Golden Citadel is, there's still a bit of travel to get to the Golden Citadel. Um, but that's obviously controlled by the Golden Order, that part. So it's not too treacherous in the south. And I say that really loosely, given how close you are to the Abyss anyway. And in general, travelling by a boat is safer than travelling by land. Just because that's the way it's that's why they've made the Midland Sea so magically controlled to try and make it safer and like swifter. Um because God knows how long it actually take you to walk all the way round to get to the Golden Order. Never mind the amount of fights. You'd probably be level twenty by the time you've got there. Um <laughs> which is absolutely disgusting. So someone roll me a D twenty four. Very specific. Yeah, right. Have you got it? Yeah. Okay, he's got it, I think. Okay, he's throwing it. Is that it? Cool. We shouldn't let Kitty do things. So it's seven in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Where is okay. everyone? Above deck, below deck. Keep in mind that people seem to be staying up at night, right? <laughs> yeah. So are you you're below deck, yeah? Yeah. I'm I'm still a bit tired from a few days ago when I stayed up way too late talking to dolphins and not really getting anything interesting from them. Cool. Except a bit of rage at the fact that the currents are big enough and strong enough to like properly move them from yeah. place to place. Well I would have found the warmest place which would probably be below deck, so mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Right, so let me do that just now. Uh, dump you here as well. Eric? Um, I'd probably be up on deck looking out one of the sides, arms folded, staring out cool. if it's rising. Where would you like to... Right, so let me think. Sun rises in wherever I want because it's a fantasy world. So let's have you stand at that side, I guess. Let's maybe put you in the middle. Aye. And. Which is funny enough, that's the east side anyway, so yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's the same um, as the world. I mean, why, why complicate things, right? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> the sun just it blinks into existence in the morning. Surprise <laughs> <laughs> <It's a> me. <laughs> oh, how did I get here? Why am I burning? Help! Awesome, <laughs> nanny! Weirdly, they only last a day and then they burn out and then. <laughs> the Wizard King makes a new one. Um, that's not true. Uh, Reach, 7am. Where are you? Below breakfast deck. Or just finished breakfast. So yeah, so I'm below deck, maybe eaten. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Aaron was probably k -wood, let's face it. Easily. Uh, also, for those of you that haven't scrolled down on the boat page, scroll down on the boat page. 
I can't see the bottom. It's because you're not underneath. You're not. You've not went below deck. Complete. Yeah. <laughs> As is the power of a uh, controlled vision. <laughs> Has Crumbar been sleeping off the gold liquid all this time? Uh, well, he's had, like, I'm probably going to give him that carafe as, like, a, a random fucking wondrous <laughs> item, to be honest. Uh, so he can just, like, keep drinking. Brilliant. Because, why not, right? Why not? Yeah. He did spend what his What would happen ridiculous... if it got tipped over? Would it just keep pouring out? Uh, no, it wouldn't. It's, um, there are rules for it, um, and I'll probably talk about that when Crumbar's on. Yeah. <laughs> But there are rules. It can make floods. No. It's like every dawn, it will make us like X amount of a liquid of choice. Uh, is what the item I'll give him is. But yeah. in the narrative, it was a case of that wouldn't have run out until the meal was done. Yeah. If that makes sense. Um, yeah. You know, plugged into the golden worms magic, much better. Unplugged, you tip. have to deal with your battery life yeah. so it does make sense good that's what I meant by weird descriptions by the way Callum earlier um, by earlier I mean days ago yeah right here <laughs> so let's see what have we got here technically yeah. I think it was probably at least a week or so ago when you think of it we've been on this ship for a long time now yeah that's... most definitely most definitely so roll perception Callum Okay. And by that I mean Eric. I'll try and always use character names when we're in the game. How bad good was this? Let's see. Seven. Yup. Perfect. Why... Tell me, right, how you don't notice this. <laughs> what do I not notice? Right. Let me, let me do this in a more fun way. I'm going to turn off your vision. Evan Black? Oh yeah. Right, cool. Let me you do in your storms early in the morning, are you? I um I think I'm still up asleep. I'm gonna see you. <laughs> no, I think maybe what's happened is you've went you went up on the top deck, maybe you're first up, you went out for, to like, you know, see the sunrise or whatever earlier, and you've maybe like wandered up down, you go, you yawn, you rub your eyes. And then this is the after you rub your eyes part, right? No. <laughs> uh, give me a second. And then... And... I'm gonna turn that to be... Right, I'm going to turn your vision back on. <laughs> uh, ha! <laughs> 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 can, I walk, like, can I pretend I've just stretched? Yawn. Yeah. My eyes look, can I now walk back down and come back up like and reset myself? Like, hmm. So, so you see what you see. Yep. And they draw their swords. Yeah. And, um, uh, yeah. I'm so screwed. <laughs> so really? So, yeah. Let's, let me just scroll up for everybody at home. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So, it seems like these people have uh, made their way onto the ship. And I'm gonna just, for the sake of everybody being able to see this, I'll move you all up to the top deck, and then I'll move you all back down. There you go. Cool, some friendly guys. Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So they've all just snuck on board. Uh, captain's in bed, obviously, because his shift's over. First mate's at the helm. Uh, she didn't see this. I mean, she's controlling the ship. Right, so. I mean, well, she's sure. probably in on it. Oh no. So, uh, yeah. Also, keep in mind, there is a paladin here. 
Let me go find him. No, don't pin him downstairs as well. So I remember. Arnold. Oh, Bally. I'm in such a bad spot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's going to be good practice for you. Uh, and there endeth the session, guys. I really hope don't, don't, you just get all hype for next session. Whenever we're we're stopped. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, that's going to be fun. Let us fade out on that small bombshell uh, to our title screen. Uh, or obviously plays some non-copyright infringement cool theme music. And yeah, what are we calling this one, guys? What's the thoughts? So we had the armory scene that we all did off recording, but was mostly you guys absolutely pillaging the Glaring Armory. More uh, the kitten. Yep. <laughs> then he's had a little bit of harbour chat, meeting up with a uh, Eric, getting on the boat, sailing on the boat, having about a week or so on the boat, uh, doing like your cat and your your usual kind of mingling, speaking with dolphins, um, the perfect storm, you know, uh, and then. We got some title of Perfect Storm. I mean, there is. Li- oh, I feel like I it's misleading. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just like goblin key. <laughs> um, so, yeah, what are we? Five claw discount. <laughs> uh, yes. Five claw discount. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that undercuts Crumbar's involvement in that, though, since it was all Crumbar that made that happen for you guys like she never stole anything yeah it was right? with permission yeah so i think we'll save that one for when she steals use a set of equipment because <laughs> that's definitely a five claw discount but um <laughs> right so it's the midland sea you're on a voyage there is a journey of some kind there was eramos learning like <laughs> the martial arts um, Call it monkey business. He going mon- monkey see monkey do. <laughs> I mean, monkey see monkey do is not the worst as long as you're spelling C S E A. I was thinking that. <laughs> um, so we've got one, one relatively valid suggestion. Monkey see monkey. Oh, I can't spell. Uh, monkey do. Any other? Suggestions? Hmm. Also, when I was copying these th- these things and I left one in the sea, <laughs> it's like, oh well, delete. I prefer talking with dolphins to that, but. Uh... But have you got oh, a snappier way of saying that? Yeah. Talking to I was trying dolphins. To figure out something, but, yeah. I know, because um, purposeful chat isn't really that good, is it? Well, you could say so long, <laughs> thanks for all the fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one. So long as I like for all that the fish. one. Yeah. But I like that one for a slightly yeah. yeah. off topic reason. Yeah. Because it's the title of a song. It's also and just um, Douglas Adams. I know right? it's, so... it's inspired by Douglas Adams. Yeah. Yeah. You could call it Fishy Business. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so long winded, that one, isn't it? So long and thanks for all the fish. Um, but yeah, like I said, you guys, whatever you guys want to name it. I know it's a bit, it's sometimes more difficult when. Not nothing really obvious happens other than you know ambush at sea, you know. Um, oh, I guess. Um, let's see. What about this? Is it too, is it, is it too bad? <laughs> yeah. Surprised? Spell it surprised. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't too bad to be honest. <laughs> it isn't really, is it? It really is. It so is the crew like? <laughs> I love how you're still in the I game. Mean... <laughs> no, this 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 will come to the uh, uh, name. Are they like bandits? Are they part? Of... I mean, they look like a uh, ragtag people that have just crawled from somewhere onto your boat. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say deceitful. <laughs> the deceitful. Oh God. E? Um... Nah, they're kind of, they have a bit more of a pirate vibe to them, these guys. I mean... Are you ready, kids? 
Um, right, I'm trying to think what else. What else happened? Because while it being a half session and mostly, I say mostly all RP, then yeah. Hmm. Is there any way we can Christmas? <laughs> that sounds <laughs> weird. Because you're adding Christmas <laughs> into the world. <laughs> um, what about just uh, Kalista's laughter? Yeah, they might have to ship. No, shouldn't they? Yeah, good point, yeah. Yeah, will we put that in? Um, yeah. How did I even... Beautiful laughter. This is no laughing Actually, matter. Actually, you could just beautiful laugh. Uh, that's what Kalista means, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's up to you. So let's, let's type these up and see what people like the look of more then. So Kalista... Kalista's... Laughter. Oh, that <laughs> I never put a space, so it just looks like Kalista slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Kalista's laughter, or is that a beautiful stuff? Freud, Freudism. Yeah, Freudian slip. <laughs> <laughs> the, actually, that is a great title, right? The Kalista slaughter. <laughs> it will be next episode. Yeah, right. So I think we have the next session's title. Um, <laughs> so will we go for Kalista's Laughter and then it's maybe the Kali like Kalista's Slaughter next? Mm. And do like a, maybe a future-proofing double barrel thingy? Mm -hmm. All those phrases aren't probably accurate, but that would do. Right? Kalista's Laughter, part one. And then obviously Kalista's Slaughter can be the part two. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with that for now. And then obviously yeah. if, if we like to change it. But that's cool. I like that. That was quite a good name. Um, just I like the randomly rolling thing for the names as well because uh, a big list of stuff. Um, that was actually from the tiefling name list that I took those from. So Kalista was from the female tiefling lists, and laughter is from a tiefling ecstasy. It's called, and it's like a another aspect of tieflings that they get, and it's like joy, sadness, laughter, like etc. Um, on the list, and Kalista's laughter was what we rolled. And it was awesome. Uh, Besides that, let's do our our post game. So, Eric, do you want to start us off? Oh, I'm so happy that I made perfect. So yeah, that's quite cool. Also, you got a wee bit of a, a wee bit more info about the wards and stuff as well. Yeah, apparently I'm more knowledgeable than I give myself credit for. It just makes sense that you'd have picked up a book at some point. Do you know what I mean? I mean, sure. <laughs> I read words on the page. Um, yeah, anything else you liked about the session? Uh, I mean, I like the ambush at the end. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't feel like I'm going to live through the next session, but <laughs> I feel like this is the shortest cameo ever. <laughs> I mean, you've kind of covered it with the word cameo, though, right? So. You. Yep. Just like, sup, bye. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I was Eric. Uh, I was brilliant and brief. Goodbye. <laughs> like like the what? perfect storm. <laughs> yep. Uh, what about you, Arya? Yeah, I really like the idea of, um, you know, talking to dolphins. And I don't care if people thought I was crazy for it. <laughs> it all just depends if you actually noticed uh, Kitty or not at the top of the... I think it's probably. I think we probably just expect her to constantly be there from the second she <laughs> first got up there. <laughs> or like you know, you look up and maybe you just assume she's up there, and then you know she walks past you eating some kind of sandwich, and then goes and climbs back up it. And you're like, wait, weren't you already up there? I'm like, ah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. What about you, Kitty? That was a nice segue into you there. It was like noticing her into dolphins and. I'm trying to find the thing on Facebook. The <laughs> see if it... see if you can find it. Yeah. While you're looking for that, then, Stu or Reach. Uh, it was kind of yeah, kind of late. I must copy me and been surprisingly good at it. Yeah, right. Should... I was pleased with the dice rolls on that one. It was great. You're in that twenty, and my that twenty were really nice. <laughs> it was just like. Serendipitous, shall we say? Um, yeah. Serendipitous. Um, I know. Terrible. There we go. Found the thing. Awesome. <laughs> so it's in the Facebook group chat. 
I was like, did that would be me sat at the top of the thing just sort of noticing her like uh, okay <laughs> let's have a look I'll go and navigate my way there one second <laughs> yeah <laughs> like that exact expression it's where it's the, just it's like the tail wave I that I love where it's like a hand I <laughs> know <laughs> <laughs> Kind of creepy, yeah, Game of Cats awesome. is great. It's a good series for you, everyone. Read it. Uh, right, so uh, that is pretty much done. Uh, have I missed anything? I don't think I've missed anything. I mean, normally I kind of sometimes have an opinion about these things, but I really enjoyed Eremos having his moment of like almost perfect copied it. The only difference is that you know that Reach has done this for like his like his most of his life, and Eremos has obviously literally just became like a small prodigy. At the thing. Copy the moves carefully, <laughs> but might not understand them fully or whatever. So yeah, that, like, you know, yeah. book smart, you could say. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> not to be too obvious there. But I. So I liked that. It was kind of cool. I liked the fact that, like, I wasn't sure if I was going to have him just randomly talk shit at you the first day you were doing it, as if he was bored, so he'd talk at you. But I liked the idea of him just being more fascinated. And then it, I, I obviously was rewarded by the dice gods. With that nat 20 um, for doing that. So that was, as I said, I love it when the dice just work out in your favour to make a really cool scene. Uh, and the idea that it was just something you guys did in this kind of nice, almost random montage of the ship. <laughs> um, montage at sea wouldn't have been a terrible name. And then um, just having it like happen where you've got everybody kind of doing their own thing, trying to come into their own. And you've got like, you know, somebody speaking to dolphins hanging over the side of the ship, the cat looking down, just be like, what the actual fuck? And then, like, Eric, kind of, with his cloak, kind of, hunched over his shoulders, with his, like, practicing his storm magic, eyes glowing with lightning, you know, as he's, like, crackling between the fingers and the hands raised above each other. Um, which is awesome. Uh, thinking, maybe those wards were suppressing my powers. And then having a, you know, as I said, the cool cat scene. And then it <laughs> cuts downstairs to, like, a golden carafe lying, rolling back and forth with the swaying motion of the boat, and uh, you know, no more glugs, only burps. <laughs> and uh, as a uh, crumbar is KO'd below deck, because I, I just feel like he probably isn't. He, I don't know how Scott would answer this question, but I get the impression that crumbar doesn't like travelling on boats. But I don't know that. I like. I think we'll find out. He he can weigh on him that next time. Let us know if yeah. Crumbar's a boat I hope he's probably enjoyed this one a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and a Paladin Arnold has kept to himself, weirdly, um, as you can probably imagine, since he was there the whole time too. Um, pr see. Probably sat there drinking with Crumbar, probably for most of it, since, you know, yeah. getting one of these crafts is probably fantastic if, you know, one's left behind um, after, like, a feast. So... Yeah, I think we're good here. Uh, goodbye, everyone who decided to listen to us. Thank you, whatever. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.